What is up, everybody? This is Upright Cards, and welcome back to week four of King of FanDuel Season 2. Before we get into this episode, I want to give a massive shout out to my guy, Brett Carnes, who had just some kind words to say last week. Brett, I appreciate it very much, and your guys' feedback is always helpful in new challenges and new ideas for this series or my channel in general. Now, this week, we're doing AFC teams only. Now, by AFC, we are also doing it by division. So the division we chose was AFC North. Now, because we've done AFC North, we have had some changes occur. You guys will see in the thumbnail if you look close enough, I put a giant X over the Steelers. Why? The Steelers-Titans game was postponed due to COVID. A lot of Titans players supposedly have had uh, COVID tests positive or players or staff or whatever. It's not my team, so I don't know everything, but I'm sure I'll hear more in the future. Now, I'll get more into our challenge, but first we have to go over last week. Once again, Brett has won now three weeks in a row. Three out of three weeks. Congrats to him as always. He won this time by our closest margin yet of six points, as you can see on the screen. Now, my choices I thought this last week were good, but just tiny little decisions cost me not only money this week, but this league. If I would have put in... I think anybody other than Edelman, almost, or anybody other than Metcalf, such as putting in um, Tyler Lockett, that would have actually made me some money instead of losing a dollar this last weekend and won me this league. Yes, Metcalf dropped, technically dropped, fumbled, ball got punched out, whatever you want to call it, uh, this last week, and that was really rough to uh, <laughs> have that happen. But you can see... Russell Wilson was a great choice, as I figured he would be. I went back and forth between him and Dak a lot. Ultimately, Russell was the choice. Jonathan Taylor, uh, we both chose. In fact, I think 100% of our league chose him. Yes, that's true. Jarek McKinnon was an easy, cheap choice. Again, we had to use 3,000 unspent, and Brett got exactly 3,000 unspent. Edelman, I thought, would be a better choice. <laughs> Only two receptions. It was really rough, that game. I watched that game, and it was just... It was hard to watch. Uh, Gallup was a good choice, 138 yards off six receptions and a touchdown. Metcalf was okay. Uh, Logan Thomas was, I mean, not bad for a really cheap tight end, as Noah Font was as well against Tampa Bay. Uh, Zeke, I figured, would get more points, more yards, but he didn't. Nick Chubb got two touchdowns compared to Zeke's one. Nick Chubb got almost three times as many rushing yards. So, all in all... Very tight, but one change would have basically made the difference. Now this week, as I said, we're doing AFC North only. That is Baltimore, Cleveland, and Cincinnati, and then of course Pittsburgh, but no Pittsburgh. We need to use guys who are on the 12 slate and the 3 slate because our league is only those 12 and 3 o'clock games. I do not do Monday, Thursday, or Sunday night games. Makes it easier for me for editing and putting out these videos out on Thursdays for you guys in time for the weekend. So, who are you going to put out of Baker Mayfield, Lamar Jackson, or um, the rookie from the Bengals, which Brett put in last week, uh, Joe Burrow? I am putting in Lamar against Washington. I think, honestly, we're going to have a lot of the same choices, and it's going to come down to you know, whose wide receivers or flex does better. Uh, obvious choices here in Nick Chubb and Joe Mixon. Uh, I just think they're going to run the ball a lot. That's just how it is. Cleveland-Dallas should be a good game if Cleveland actually shows up, and I'm hoping they are because I have Jarvis and Odell in here as well. Uh, for Baltimore, I have a little bit of a stack. I have not done a running back with them as Lamar just seems to be running the ball more than a running back at this point. So I have put in uh, Marquise Brown and Mark Andrews. And Willie Sneed. Of course, this is always subject to change. And then I have Cincinnati's defense against Jacksonville. Jacksonville's just not impressive. Honestly, thought they'd be the worst team in the league this year. Um, been there many years ago, but who knows what will happen. Of course, you know, I mean, no, you know, rudeness against these teams or their fans or their organizations or their players. What they have to go through right now is difficult, but if you stick with them, the team will get better. And it's nice to see your team grow around a coach or a player or something like that, as we saw in the Chiefs organization over the last five years. So it's a lineup. Uh, if you guys do not play FanDuel, you can only put a max of four players from each team 
in this lineup, which means you could technically put four players and then another four players from two out of your three teams, and then the last two or three picks uh, have to be from that other team. So Lamar and Baltimore, yes, we beat them on Monday Night Football seemingly easily, uh, not as easily as I thought. I thought we were honestly going to lose, being a realist, being a fan. I was like, we got this. Being a realist, I'm like, oh, geez. Baltimore, I've got one, two, three, four players. Cincinnati, I've got two. And then Cleveland, I've got one, two, three. So there you have it. That's the lineup this week. 700 left over. I'll probably do some research. Uh, I might change my quarterback, honestly. I feel like if the Browns get behind early in this game, uh, Baker could be the guy to get because they're going to be throwing the ball a lot. But we'll figure it out. We'll do some research when I have the time. And hopefully it all works out. Otherwise, I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below. Like Brett, we are just eight subscribers away from our next big giveaway. What will it be? Hobby box, a card, something special. That's for sure. It's going to have to beat the last one. And this one's going to have to be beat by the next. So I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Again, don't forget to like or subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you all next week.